You know what's better than frogs? Dogs. Do you know why I know that? Because a dog killed Pepe. At least that's what Matt Fury had you believe way back in the old days. When Matt Fury originally created Pepe, he also created another character called Dog and Snout Skeptic. And he wrote a few, uh, it, part of this story was uh, that Dog and Snout Skeptic was the killer of Pepe. So the question now becomes, is there a Pepe killer? And if there is, is it still Dog and Snout? Now, I'm partnered with a crypto called Dog and Snout Skeptic. If you are interested, do your own research and check this out. I'm going to take you through some of the pieces here so that you can look at it and you can decide for yourself whether this is a worthy and or wise investment for you. Currently trading at over a $1 million market cap with over 10% liquidity, which is very rare in meme coins right now. You usually see these highly volatile uh, things like bonk where you have this ridiculous liquidity amount. Well, you don't see that with Dogen Snout. So let's go check it out and uh, humor me, if you will. Uh, if you're a big fan of Matt Fury, if you're a big fan of Pepe, make sure you hit the like button on this. Make sure that you leave a comment down below letting me know, are you Pepe Army or are you Dog Army? So this is what we have here. Dog and Snout Skeptic, uh, Dogs, the Pepe Killer. Now, uh, in a quick review of this right now, the Pepe Predator, drawings by Matt Fury, is widely recognized as the creator of Pepe the Frog, an iconic character taking taken on a life of its own across various internet communities. Beyond Pepe, however, Fury's creative universe extends to lesser-known characters that also embody his distinctive, playful, and sometimes absurd style. One such creation is the Dog and Snout Skeptic, a character poised as Pepe the Frog's predator in the ever-evolving world of digital and meme culture. When Pepe tokens have garnered significant attention, the emergence of Dog and Snout Skeptic introduces an intriguing dynamic. And uh, if you are wondering what that means, these are pictures that were drawn by Matt Fury many, many moons ago. And each one of these is uh, a Dog and Snout Skeptic eating a Pepe. So uh, you can see right here, sharing it with his kid. Um, it's a little graphic here, of course, when we do it. But uh, listen, uh, they're having fun. This is a, an engaging and enjoyable sort of funny thing. Here you have a picture of Matt Fury himself after he drew the original dog and snout feasting on a Pepe, by the way. So if you are interested, you would certainly want to go check this out. Now, Price action. We're going to go back to the website in just a moment, by the way. But uh, for price action, I'm going to put the, uh, the the contract address. I'm going to put the links down in the description down below so that you can go check it out. But as you can see right here from this price action, uh, we got the double top, which was the launch. Uh, a nice big double top here uh, coming up to seven zeros, 1566, about 5x from where it is right now. Then it came down, had its nice little correction. Uh, that was in April 1st. And then all of a sudden, we had this massive move back to the upside. Uh, going back up into the, uh, let's call that uh, 15, we call that about 5 million market cap range with a big amount of liquidity. And then, of course, the drawback down, which we continue to get. Now, here's the thing to note. Uh, you saw a floor created right in this range right here. Then you saw this big spike and then you saw this drawback down. But the floor is now higher. And if you are looking for momentum, then let me show you this momentum swing here. You had all of this coming down this way. Now, when you're drawing bottoms, the bottoms seem to be going back up, which means that a probably look at another spike happening right here. If you do the same thing over here, you'll see when this kind of leveled off, it was in anticipation of that next big move coming and the next big move came and then boom. So you might be looking at another opportunity here. Now, is this the low? That's the question right now. I think so. Uh, when you pull up a basic retracement and you look at where you are, you find that you know that previous area uh you could wick down into it the market's not been favorable for a lot of things but it looks like this thing is about ready to send one more time where is it going to send to well there's two places that you likely move to and that's the 50 line right here which means 8079 which is a little over 100 that's going to be over 100 percent increase in price action and then you have 9563 at the 382 and then you have 1150 right here uh, these are the three spots where you have a, a great opportunity for that reversal. So if you're looking for something for a reversal, if you're looking for something that could have a big run, then might I suggest to you that you check out Dog and Snout Skeptic because even Matt Fury himself tells you that Dog and Snout is the Pepe killer. So in a world filled with Matt Fury tokens, all inspired by the success of Pepe, 
uh, make sure that you're checking out Dog and Snout Skeptic. Uh, this is, if you look at the history of tokens, and by the way, just so you guys know, immediately after deployment of this token, uh, the devs of Dog and Snout Skeptic airdropped over 8 trillion tokens to the doxed wallet of Matt Fury. Uh, he hodled for up to 50K in value and then wrote it back down to about 25K where he then sold. This can be accepted as none other than a thank you uh, and a uh, for play, for for paying homage. Uh, if you're uh, looking at the history of tokens like SHIB, you see Vitalik did the same thing with SHIB. History repeats itself. Then Dog and Snout Skeptic might just go absolutely ballistic. Currently only available on Ethereum. And according to Dog and Snout Skeptic, all other blockchains are just scams. There's only Ethereum. Is that true? I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do your own research and check this out. Again, a 1 million market cap could very easily run up to a 5, 10, 15, 20 million dollar market cap. Ethereum meme coins are just sitting here waiting. They're 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 a powder keg and they're ready to explode. And it's only a matter of time. And this is going to be one where you're probably going to see some kind of uh memes coming out and, and a great opportunity. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.